Welcome back. We are assembling the tread nesting machine, the TNM-1. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. That way you can get access to any new videos that we post on our YouTube channel. And it helps the YouTube algorithm for us, so thank you. So the first thing that we're going to do once we've got this off the pallet, out of the box, whatever the case is, we're going to grab the plates that look like this. These three holes right here, these two are a little bit closer together than this one is over here. And I typically like to start where we've got one hole above and all the other holes below. It's pretty simple, just gonna go like this. I'm gonna match the orientation. line up the holes just like that and then we're going to take a washer and a supplied nut on this side and don't fully tighten them yet we're going to get more of the machine assembled before we'll fully tighten all the bolts now that we've got all four plates loosely on the frame of the machine we're going to now put the upper frame section on and then we're going to lay it on its face. For this part, you're probably going to need another pair of hands. We start with the upper hole, the lower pair. We're going to put the bolt in from the front. And then same thing, washers and nuts loosely on this back side. Put the upper bolts in the frame as well before we're going to lay the machine on its front for the next step. We're going to go ahead and tilt the machine on its front onto something sturdy enough to hold the weight. We've got a milk crate. Again, an extra pair of hands always helps here. Next, we're going to grab the vertical tube that performs the, uh, the buckling action of the treads, and we're going to feed it from the bottom of the machine through that top carriage right there. And we're going to start uh, assembling the parts needed to put the top air cylinder on the machine. And the first part that we're going to need is the one that looks kind of like this. The bracket is going to fit onto the tube just like this. So you want it facing in this orientation because the air cylinder is going to fit between this pivot point here and this pivot point right here. Okay, next step, we're going to take the big air cylinder that's going to mount to the top here and we're going to orient the mount and the air cylinder such that the air fittings are facing this direction. Insert the air cylinder like this. And then on the back mount, the two spacers are going to go one on either side of the rod end, just like this. And then you're going to slip the cotter pin through the little hole on this clevis pin. Okay, now that we've got the machine upright, now we can go ahead and tighten all of the bolts that connect the lower base to the upper frame. Now we're gonna go ahead and insert um, the buckling rod. Uh, the important thing to note on this one is that the two mounting holes that are gonna bolt the bracket for the air cylinder that actuates this 
Make sure these holes are horizontal. So we're gonna just go ahead and put this in like this. It's gonna line up the mounting holes onto the end of the tube like this. And you're gonna use the supplied bolts to mount it. And then you're gonna go ahead and tighten them up. We're ready to now install the horizontal air cylinder. And we're gonna start with the back end first. We're going to make sure that the air fittings are facing downward. Clevis pin and the uh, cotter pin. I'm just going to go ahead and insert this in just like this. And then don't forget to bend the end of the cotter pin. We're just going to go ahead and put the front part of the cylinder attached to this carriage right here with the supplied bolt. And you're just going to line up the end of the uh, cylinder so that it fits. Just like that. And then you're just going to put the other um, the nut on the end, tighten it down. Okay, we're gonna connect up the air hoses now. And the first thing we're gonna start with, uh, by the way, when you get your machine, your air hoses will either be already connected or they will be marked so that you just correspond the marking with the correct fitting on the air cylinder or the valve. Uh, but I always like to start with the main inlet air supply line, which comes from where you're gonna plug in your air supply and it feeds air into the valve. Just matching the ends with where they go. That one, and we'll go ahead and do the same thing with the other one here. Plug it in. Uh, last thing is to um, install the tread drape draping shafts. Um, you've got a couple different options. I always like to start in the center hole that's relative to the center line of the tubes on the frame. And then there's also a locking collar that we're going to tighten and it will lock this shaft in place. Start from the back with this collar here and now I'll go ahead and put the locking collar on the shaft, slide it through and I will squeeze the locking collar up against this back plate as I tighten down the screws so that the collar clamps on the shaft and that will lock the shaft in that location. And we'll just do the same thing for the next shaft. So we're going to go ahead and demonstrate. I'm going to plug the machine into the air supply. We're going to start by moving the switch to the up direction. And you always want to start with the smallest tread and then obviously go to larger diameter with each consecutive tread. And you always want to push each tread up against these two plates. 